I got this email from Microsoft stating that Copilot is now available for the classic version of Outlook. I was so excited for this. I had to immediately update my computer because I just really don't like their new version of Outlook. It's missing so many features. So when they said, hey, it's available for the classic version, I was excited. I went straight over, updated my computer just to see how it worked out. And here's what I found. All right, right before I show you, I do want to remind you guys, we are consultants. So if you do have any questions, you can find us on any social media platforms at Next Tech NT. You can also, if you're a business, hop over to our website and schedule a free initial consultation. And we can go over your business needs and see if we're a good fit to help each other out. And now I just want to hop over to the computer and show you guys how to really quickly check to see if you have an update. So as you can see, I'm on the computer, you can go up to file. You go down to the bottom left where it says office account and you're going to say update options and update now. It's gonna check and apply for updates. I was on version 2405, build 176.28.20144. So it took, you know, 20 minor versions for them to get to here where Copilot's in. But once you've updated, as long as you're greater than that version, Copilot should show up. So here's a picture that shows us right here where it looked like before Copilot was up, it just didn't have this link. So now I can click Copilot and I can use Copilot just like if I was in Teams, doing searches, asking it questions, creating ideas. But guys, they made a big announcement. It's in Classic and this is what it is. It doesn't do, if I'm to open up a new email, it doesn't have prompts that I can give the email. It doesn't have backup. <laughs> I missed that button. <laughs> I'm so excited now. We're gonna change our video script. It is in the Outlook Classic version. So if you click that, you can draft with Copilot and you can say, hey, this is what I want. You could also, what I told people about is coaching by Copilot. This is really cool. And I've gone over this in other videos, but this is really cool because when you write something, it will go into the message and say like, hey, maybe this isn't right. So I'm gonna write out a message real quick and then we're gonna get coach. All right, guys, it took me like an entire day to write that prompt. You know, I'm in a different J outfit. Actually, I just uh, accidentally hit stop recording before the video was done. Note to self, don't do that again. But here is our co-pilot prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and click generate and it's gonna draft up that email for us. It says, I wanted to share with you three reasons why purchasing a co-pilot license can benefit your business. Firstly, it can save time and increase efficiency by automating repetitive tasks. Secondly, it can improve accuracy and reduce errors with its advanced algorithms. Lastly, it can provide valuable insight and analytics to inform your business decisions. I hope these points demonstrate the value a Copilot license can bring to your business. Not the greatest email, but that is what they're generating. It was a very short prompt. I literally just said, hey, I need an email to Bob Smith that shows the reason why you should buy a Copilot license for his business. So it wasn't a great prompt either, but we're able to do this in the classic version of Outlook. So I'm pretty happy about that. We're gonna click keep because what I wanna have happens, I wanna click coaching with Copilot to see what they say about this email that they wrote um, and see their feedback. All right, now that we have our feedback here, we're gonna go ahead and go through a couple of them. First of them is the tone, convey enthusiasm effectively. So even when I read that email just a minute ago, I thought, man, this is kind of boring. It's a little bit bland. So they're saying, hey, say things like revolutionize or transform or elevate to convey transformative impact of the product. And it's saying, hey, you can say like, the license can revolutionize your business operations, which it can. And so that's not lying. So it's just being more excited and knowing more about the license and getting people excited about it. Use more compelling adjectives to describe the benefits, such as invaluable insights instead of valuable insights. So it's saying, hey, you're gonna get invaluable. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really good insights in your business as you analyze this data that you couldn't analyze before. So then reader sentiment. That's the next thing it talks about. So I always like it when you get coached, there's three things it tells you. Tone, reader sentiment, and clarity. So we're gonna hop into the second one, reader sentiment. The email highlights important benefits that would appeal to a business owner, but it could better address potential doubts or questions a reader might have. I didn't talk about that at all. Like anticipate and address common hesitations by adding 
a line like you might wonder about the integration process and I'm pleased to assure you it's seamless and user friendly. You just gotta pay for the license. Super easy guys. And then it shows up and now it even shows up in Outlook Classic. Like I'm seriously, I'm so excited about that. So now we can use it in all the versions of Outlook. It just shows up. It is a lot seamless to integrate. So you can even say things like that. And then we can go here and say, hey, are we clear or are we not? So the email is clear about the general benefits of a Copy license, but providing specific examples or scenarios could make the advantage more tangible for the reader, which is very true. I didn't talk about like, hey, our clients report savings average of 10 hours per week on manual data entry tasks or the error checking algorithm catches and corrects 99% of input mistakes before they affect your workflow. So it's talking about, hey, what are things that could benefit you? What, can we be more clear? So it's giving you ideas and you can use those and change them in your email. I think this is really cool, especially when you're writing a really important email. I know I wrote one a couple times at night when I'm like, oh, this is weird. Like I have to respond to this person and I respond maybe not the best way. And if I would use this and say, hey, consider changing your tone a little bit because you're sounding angry or frustrated. And then it's not really right for me to send emails to my clients frustrated. So make sure that you're using this. It can be very helpful. Like I said, guys, I'm really excited about using Copilot in the classic version. I think it's great they brought it in. Um, I hope that they bring more of the features that I want in the new version from the classic version. So going the other way. Uh, but until they do, I'm gonna keep using the classic version. Let me know in the comments below which one you use. Do you use Alva Classic or do you go to the new version? So I will see you guys around. Thank you so much for sticking around. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and that subscribe. It really does help us create more content like this to help support the channel and to support your business. So I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time.